What's up, people? Um, I know it's been a while. It's been a very tumultuous journey. Um, as my pro day is a few days away, I just wanted to check in. I'm doing something pretty cool. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a card deal, and that requires signatures. How many? Uh, 6,000 to be exact. As you can see, these are all sheets of my signature for the cards. Um, I take a lot of pride in this because I started this on Friday and I basically locked myself in the house. It's Monday night and um, doing my last sheet of 25 signatures, which all equals up to 6,000. And uh, you know, I just wanted to let you know the logistics of actually signing your name 6,000 times. <clears throat> so yeah. Pro days, a few days away. I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm just ready to put together my best performance of my life. But uh, before that, let me sign, I had to sign these cards 6,000 times and I'm excited to get the card. When I do, I'll show y'all, I'll show y'all. But yeah, man, I just wanted to show you a cool snippet of this, this chapter, becoming a professional NFL player. So, Next time we'll check in, we'll be on our way to Nashville. And um, it's ready to put it on tape, man. First 48 out. Good morning. It's a little early. Hope you can hear me. But um, right now I'm at the airport. As you can see, getting ready to board my flight to go to Pro Day. Um, I'm exciting. It's a long time coming. This, this two months flew by pretty fast. But I'm pretty excited, man, it's, it's, it's go time. You know, pro day is when you do all your drills, your 40, your D-line drills, your shuttles, um, your bench in front of scouts. And they make an in-person assessment of you and stuff like that. And they go back to their teams and, you know, try to decide where to pick you or if to pick you and stuff like that. So um, it's a really special trip. Um, I'm excited to go back to school, see some friends, but it's also a business trip. So it's, it's time to get it's time to get money, it's time to make some money, it's time to put the work in and show show what we've been doing these past two months, man. Um, it's been a hard two months for me. Um, it's, it's been a very, very tumultuous two months. Like, it's been arduous, it's been frustrating, it's been satisfying all in one. But right now, this, this these workouts, the issues, the trials are all, this is all coming to a spearhead right now. On Monday, uh, today's Thursday, but on Monday at at 12 o'clock, um, you know, it's pro day. So that's 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 what we all do it for. I'm excited, I'm ready. And uh, man, let's, it's time to get this show on the road, man. <laughs> it's pro day eve. Um, just crossing my T's and my eyes, getting an IV. Basically getting all the nutrients that I need um, just to hydrate and perform my best tomorrow, so I know the routine, um, probably get a little bit of cryo, um, a little Normatec, but IV is the most important thing for me right now to hydrate and have everything, and I need to be the top of my game tomorrow, so. I wanted to come up here and just, you know, visualize what's about to take place. I mean, we're in the indoor for our pro day. So you see, we've got the benches over here. We're gonna do drills all on the field. Um, spent years in this in this indoor playing football, making plays, having good days, having bad days, and all my hard work and dedication is just coming to fruition right now on this field where it started at essentially. And um, it's a really it's a really interest. It's, it's a weird feeling that I'm, I have right now, but just walk through some things and you know visualize what's going to take place while I you know just put the finishing touches on this thing because it's 12 o'clock tomorrow showtime you know we got to put on the show show that I have the ability and talent to be a professional football player which is exciting it's nerve-wracking but before I leave I'm just gonna sit out here and think about what I'm gonna do tomorrow how I'm gonna make it happen, and you know, just say my prayers up for thank, thanking God that it did happen. Back there, my goal is to get 20 reps on the bench press. Um, 
So I'm going to get 20 reps on the bench press. Uh, so I'm going to have been doing that. I've been training. I've been doing so many things, stressing myself, dying under the bench press, you know, for the last two months, just trying to put it all together. And out here, I'm going to look extremely well in drills. Um, I'm, I've been walking through these drills, thinking about these drills, YouTube and all these drills. Um, not to mention just just stressing, stressing the small details about it. And lastly, my biggest goal uh, tomorrow is to run my 40 yard dash in a four, I wanna run a four, five, eight. Um, at 255, that is uncommon at my D-line position, but it's something I think I really could do. Um, my first, my goal is a four, six, and um, I felt like I'm just gonna push the envelope, you know what I'm saying? So four, five, eight. That's what I'm gonna run tomorrow. That's what I want to run tomorrow. That's what I thank God for me allowing me to run tomorrow. And um, yeah, man, I'm just reflecting. You know, it's it's, it's a very interesting time. Um, and my career is very pivotal. It's the most important day in my football career um, to date. So I thank God for y'all watching this. I thank God for my journey to this point. Thank God for allowing me to get 20 reps from the bench press, looking good in drills and also running a 4.58. And um, yeah, man, I was kind of reluctant at first to even put this on the video, but I realized, man, you gotta take a leap of faith, man. And it is what it is, man. So it's go time, man. First 48 out, man. But I do want to give you a view of my hotel room. So got my snacks that I need to eat prior to pro day just to keep my weight up. I got my tapering plan, which is basically a breakdown leading all the way up to pro day. And my warm ups for the bench in the 40. Um, my hotel is pretty sweet because I know it's raining, but it's right across the street from the stadium and also where pro day is taking place which is all the way over there. That is where the four or five is gonna take place, over there. Gotta act on the faith. Gotta act on the faith, man. So yeah, man, that's that's what I, how I'm spending my time hydrating, eating right, and just, you know, visualizing what I'm gonna do tomorrow at Pro Day. So, let the games begin, man. Thank God in advance. Thank you for the good and the bad. And I just gotta put my head down and work, man. First 48 out. completed I um it's kind of surreal man it happened so fast blinking of a blink of eye was gone but your boy ran that four five that boy ran that four five you feel me you feel what I'm saying so you know let me give you the breakdown um we had a lot of guys there but uh me and another person was the only person that did like a lot of the drills like bench broad you know, uh, the formalities and stuff like that. So it was just, it was quick pace. Cause usually, usually typically at a pro day, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different things. So you get a lot of time to rest, but I didn't. Um, it was like one thing after the next, it, it was about 15, 15 teams there. Um, they were kind of like going fast, going through it fast, man. And I, I started to get overwhelmed, but right before the 40, I had to like take about 15 minutes and just, you know, center myself, run through my, run through my uh, warm up and just, and just, you know, put my head down and run, man. So once I, I felt like after the first one, I can get a little bit faster. Like after running after the first one, I ran probably like a low four six, like somebody told me four six one. So it was cool, right? So, but it, in order to get my time, cause you know, they, they uh, take the two times and they combine them and divide them. So 
then basically that's that's your time like take the averages both times so i knew i had to get a really good low four or five on the second one and um it's really harder mentally it's harder to run on the second like a faster 40 on the second one because that's just how it is but man by the grace of god man i put my head down just just went through my steps and was able to pull off four five six man and the crazy thing about it is the split uh the 10 yard split which was a one five two and like that's like wide receiver type splits like that's ridiculously fast for a defensive lineman and the only thing i could do is thank god man like i came in here did what i needed to do by the grace of god you heard me talking about it earlier you heard me speaking it earlier and um i just want to say man i'm thankful for achieving my goals man i'm i'm, I'm thankful i'm excited i'm blessed man and ain't really too much else to say about it man the next stop is going back to the drawing board and we grinding you feel me um I'm about to get ready to leave. I'm going to go fly to Philly to do some things with the news. And, um, man, I'm just blessed, man. I'm out here on the road. Thank God, man. I thank him for the good and the bad. I thank him for this, man. It's a long time coming. I had a really hard process, but the marathon continues, people. The marathon continues, man. So first 48 out.